Hi everyone, in this video we will show you how to install Minikube on Ubuntu 22.04 or 22.10. Minikube is an open source tool that allows you to run a single node Kubernetes cluster locally on your system. It is designed to make it easy for the developers to experiment with Kubernetes without needing to set up a full scale cluster. With Minikube you can run and manage Kubernetes objects like ports, services, deployments and more just as you would on a production cluster. Minikube also provides a number of useful features such as add-ons for common services like Kubernetes dashboard and ingress controller. System requirements for Minikube are as follows 2 GB free RAM or more, 2 CPUs or more, 25 GB free disk space, internet connectivity container or the virtual machine manager. So in this video tutorial we are using docker as a container runtime and in our system we have already installed docker. The installation steps are as follows. First we will download the minikube binary. Then we will start the minikube. After that we will test the kubernetes installation by deploying a nginx based sample application. And in the last we will see the different minikube operations. Let's deep dive into the actual step, open the terminal, verify the OS version by running lsb underscore release command. Ok, this confirms that we are running Ubuntu 22.04.1 LTS operating system. Verify the docker version, run the command docker version. And the server version is also 23.0.1. This confirms that docker is also installed on our system. Now to start with the installation, open the web browser. In the Google search Minikube, click on the first link. It will give you the steps, installation steps for the Minikube. So, Select the operating system as Linux, architecture as 64-bit, release type as stable and the, and the installer type as binary download. I have already prepared a text file with all the steps handy. I will also attach those steps in the description of the video for your reference. So the first step is to install Minikube dependencies. So to, to install the dependencies copy this command and paste it on your terminal here the next step is to download the minikube binary so use this cull command to download the binary This spell command will download the latest Minikube binary on your system. Okay, now move the Minikube binary to USR local pane using this command. Okay. Now you can verify the Minikube version by running a command Minikube version okay currently we are running a mini cube of version 1.29.0 the next step is to start the mini cube using mini cube start command run mini cube start iphone iphone driver and then token so this driver flag specify that we are using docker as a container for this mini cube. Hit enter. 
the output confirms that minikube has been started successfully with the default resources like two cpus and two gb of ram if you wish to customize the resources while while starting the minikube you have to pass the additional parameters like if you wish to enable ingress controller so you can pass this parameter add-ons is equals to ingress you want to change the cpu's limit you can set as two four whatever the requirement as per your setup so you have to pass the high firing from cpu parameter to set the memory uh, 6gb pass this parameter hyphen hyphen memory is equal to 6gb kubernetes version as stable then pass this parameter similarly you want to specify the cni plugin as flannel so just give the parameter hyphen hyphen cni is equal to flannel though in this uh, video tutorial i have started the mini cube with the default resources okay let's move to the next step verify the mini cube status run mini cube status command it says uh, it is running successfully on the host kubelet service is also running along with the api and cube config now to interact with the uh, with the kubernetes cluster we need a kubectl utility by default it is not installed so we have to install it so to install kubectl utility copy this curl command paste it and enter it will download the binary your current working directory move this binary to uh, user local pin folder okay where to use sudo set the executable permissions on this a uh, kubectl binary use chmod command Now run the kubectl command to verify the cluster version, uh, nodes, so you can copy this command kubectl cluster info, first command output cluster info it says my kubernetes control plane is running on this ip on this porch core dns is running on this url as you can see i have only one node in the cluster with the name minikube with the status ready and the role as control plane and the kubernetes version is 1.26.1 now verify the add-ons what are the different add-ons are enable on the my on my kubernetes cluster for that first verify the list what are the different add-ons run minikube add-on space list command the tick mark confirms that it has been enabled on our cluster by default only two add-ons are enabled let's suppose i want to start Kubernetes dashboard add-ons. So run the command mini cube with dashboard. It will enable the dashboard and it will start the dashboard in, in the web browser automatically. okay as you can see it has started the kubernetes dashboard on the local host and here you can see the kubernetes objects like cron jobs ports if you want to see the ports of all namespace select here 
and you will see the ports of all the new spaces okay if you wish to enable the other add-ons like ingress controller nginx ingress controller so for that you again need to go to the command line hit control c here and to enable the ingress controller run meaning cube add-ons enable ingress copy this command paste it and hit enter so it will download the required images which is required for setting up the nginx ingress controller okay the output confirms that ingress add-on has been enabled you can also cross verify it by running the command minikube add-ons list command okay dashboard is enabled and the ingress is also enabled now the next step is to verify the kubernetes installation so we will try to spin up a nginx based deployment using the kubectl command So this command will create any deployment with the name minikube-nginx and the image would be used uh, as nginx as the latest image it says the deployment is created you can run the command kubectl get deployment okay it says uh, 0 out of 1 it means the port is not uh, still up and it's not running you can verify the status of the port as well kubectl get ports ok now it says it is running one by one you can verify it from the deployment output as well great now expose this deployment as a type not port run the command kubectl expose deployment then the deployment name and then the service name type as node port and port as port 80 verify the service status using the kubectl get svc ok now run the following command to get the URL for our application so minikube service followed by the service name and then hyphen hyphen URL copy the URL in the web browser paste this URL it will so as the default or the home page of our nginx application this confirms that application is is being deployed successfully and we are able to access our application close the browser go to the terminal again okay now we will see uh, what are the different operations that can be carried out use on the mini cube the first one is mini cube status we have already gone through this command it will show us the status of our mini cube if you want to stop the mini cube run the command mini cube stop it will stop the mini cube okay it says one node stopped you can verify the status again says the host it is stopped now if you want to start it again use the command minikube start okay the output confirms that minikube is started again now if you want to delete this minikube installation so the first step is to stop the minikube and then delete 
so first command would be mini cube stop now run mini cube delete okay it has been deleted you will see nothing in output that's all from this video tutorial i hope you have found it useful please do post your feedback and queries in below comment section do not forget to subscribe our channel and like the video thank you bye have a nice day